Thank you for clicking It's Starting Now. When it comes to Final Fantasy summons, few make a splash like Leviathan. This delightfully damp deity has made an appearance in numerous Final Fantasy games, bringing the raging power of the ocean to both help and hinder our heroes. Its latest appearance is in The Rising Tide, the new DLC expansion for Final Fantasy XVI, where it's bigger and better than ever before. Not only do you get to face off against this awe-inspiring icon directly, you'll also get to wield its powers yourself. And what a thrill that is. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> how did we get here? Um, let's take a look at some of Leviathan's previous appearances in the series. Technically, Leviathan's first appearance in the series wasn't as a summon, it was as a dungeon. At one point in the game, our heroes are gobbled up by this sea-dwelling serpent and must explore its innards to escape. Ugh. Rest assured, future appearances were decidedly less gross. It was Final Fantasy III that introduced summons to the series for the first time. These powerful, magical marvels could be called to aid you in battle, and Leviathan was on hand to lend its support. When summoned, it unleashes a powerful area of effect attack that leaves your enemies damaged and, we have to assume, uncomfortably soggy. Leviathan gets quite the promotion in Final Fantasy IV. He's not just a summon, or Eidolons as they're called here, he is their king. He plays a big role in the story, as he breaks apart the party in order to help protect and train the young summoner Rydia. Later on, if you defeat him in battle, you can call on his power to unleash a tsunami of pain. Leviathan appears as a summon in Final Fantasy V and VI, but it makes a huge splash in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> and boy, do they make you earn it. If you bring Yuffie to her hometown of Wutai, she can attempt to ascend the Pagoda of the Five Mighty Gods. If she manages to overcome this gauntlet of challenging fights, she'll be rewarded with Materia to summon Leviathan. In Final Fantasy VII Remake, you can earn Leviathan's summon Materia by defeating the Lord of All Seas in Chadley's VR Combat Simulator. As befits a summon of this stature, it's a tough battle that will really test your skills. Leviathan reappears as one of the primals who threaten the world in Final Fantasy XIV. Unlike other games in the series, you battle the primal lord of the world rather than summon it. And if you take on the Eden Raid series in the Shadowbringers expansion, you'll face a unique version of this dangerous foe. In Final Fantasy XV, Leviathan is a colossal sea serpent who slumbers under the city of Altissia. When she's woken by the Oracle Luna Freya, it sparks one of the most visually spectacular battles in Final Fantasy history. The Rising Tide DLC for Final Fantasy XVI sends you into the mysterious land of Mysidia. This region has been hidden for a hundred years and houses the icon of water, Leviathan. In this new story, you'll uncover the secrets of this long-lost icon, take it on in battle, and even claim its powers to use yourself. Those were just a few versions of Leviathan throughout the Final Fantasy series, and things are getting wetter and wilder than ever in the rising tide. Are you planning on exploring Presidia and taking on the drenched deity for yourself? Let us know in the comments.